Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. Welcome to week five of a mammoth programming event that's unlike anything we've ever undertaken on TCM before. Each week we're premiering a new episode of the documentary series called The Story of Film and Odyssey. And surrounding each episode are some of the films talked about in that chapter. So before we show you episode five, which covers the years of 1939 to 1952, we're going to bring you one of the important films discussed in it. It's director John Ford's landmark western Stagecoach, produced by Walter Wanger and released by United Artists in 1939. It's a movie that changed the look and feel of all the westerns which have come since, not only in the way that Ford used the beautiful vistas of Monument Valley to tell the story, but also how he, for the first time, presented multidimensional characters in a western. Before Stagecoach in 1939, movies with cowboys in them basically presented every character in every situation as either good or bad, black or white. But in Stagecoach, the characters are allowed to be both good and bad and many shades of gray. This is a film that also made John Wayne a star, finally. He'd been making movies for more than a dozen years but still had no marquee value at all. But John Ford was adamant that John Wayne play the lead in Stagecoach even though the film's producer, Walter Wanger, really wanted to class up the film with an A-class star. Specifically, he wanted Gary Cooper, even though hiring Cooper would cost a fortune and John Wayne could be had for peanuts. That was about to change. John Ford got his way and John Wayne was soon on his way to becoming a superstar. Here also with Claire Trevor, who actually gets top billing over John Wayne. Also with Thomas Mitchell, John Carradine, Andy Devine, and Tim Holt. From 1939, Stagecoach. <laughs> ¶¶ 